Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Design. Okay, I'm going to show you how to design a t-shirt directly in Illustrator. Um, now most of my tutorials, I've done many t-shirt design tutorials, most of them I design in Photoshop and then I convert to vector to bring it to Illustrator because when you send for silk screening you do need it to, you do need it to be in vector format. Um, now the reason I do that is just because I find I prefer designing in Photoshop, I find there's a lot more options to create a wide variety of really awesome effects and designs. But if you're doing a very simple design, if you're just using mainly text, a few little shapes and lines, um, you may as well go directly in Illustrator because then you won't lose any quality. Every time you do that vector conversion, you do lose a bit of quality. The lines won't be as sharp and everything. So um, again, if you're just using text and stuff, go right to the source, okay? So we're gonna create a document here in uh, Illustrator. I did a 10 by 10. Size really doesn't matter because, like I said, this vector, it can be resized to anything. First thing we're going to do is we're going to paste in a picture of our t-shirt here. Um, you can get these at 10minutedesign.com or I think I just copied this one from Teespring, which works just fine. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create a new layer and my t-shirt layer here, I'm going to hit the lock. I'm going to lock that layer so that I can't move or this design at all, because this is just my template. Okay, now click on my new layer. I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to write t-shirt design. Let's make that big. There we go. Probably a little too big. Good, and obviously black on black is not going to work. Let's make it orange. There you go. Good stuff. Okay, now I want to add some more kind of designs. Um, I've got these grunge lines here that I downloaded from freegrunge.com. You can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take this guy right here, copy. I'll paste that in. Like I said, I mean, this is if you're doing simple designs, Illustrator works really well. You can get these grunge elements that other people have already done. And this is a very simple technique. Okay, if you're going to do anything more complicated than this and you really want to go in there and do some crazy designs, then I would suggest uh, using Photoshop. The whole purpose of this is that it's a nice, simple thing to do. Okay, so pretty simple design right there, t-shirt design, nice grunge lines on the top and bottom. We're good to go. Okay, now before sending this to print, a few things we need to do. First, I would save this. So you want to keep your original kind of design copy. So save this and then create a new copy. And the new copy, what we're going to do is go back to our layers here. If you don't see your layers, just come up here to Windows, make sure layers is selected. And that layer with the t-shirt, we're going to delete that. And then our design here, we're just going to scale it up, take the whole take the whole canvas. You don't have to do this, as I mentioned earlier, it is vector, so it really doesn't matter what size it's at. Last thing we can do is when you send this to print, you want to make, if, it, if this is just still text, and they don't happen to have that font, that'll be an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our text, right-click, create outlines. That's going to turn this text into um, an image. Okay, so we're good. We got our two colors. Everything is vectorized already. So all we got to do is save as, save as a new file, because I do want to save that. Quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is basically... As I mentioned, if you're someone that prefers to design in Photoshop, go right ahead in Photoshop, use those techniques, convert to vector, and bring into Illustrator. Um, if you're doing something very simple, plain text, go right to the source, right to Illustrator, design it in there, so much simpler. Okay, uh, if you'd like to know how to design in Photoshop, design a t-shirt in Photoshop, click right here for this tutorial, and we have another one right here, designing um, in Photoshop based on a photograph. Okay, two great tutorials, please check those out. If you have any suggestions for uh, new tutorials, anything you'd like me to do, um, comment below and tell me what you'd like to see. Please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, all social media, it's all linked below, and uh, subscribe to this channel, and this is Rob Baldwin. Have a good day.